What's up guys, I device help here, and you may have recently bought an iPhone 7 or a 7 Plus. But as we know, there is currently no jailbreak for these devices and there's no way to customize them. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to get around some of these limitations and customize your brand new iPhone 7 or 7 Plus without the need of a jailbreak. And by the way, this works on other devices as well. But let's go ahead and show you how you can customize your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch running the latest iOS 10 without the need of a jailbreak. Alright, so first let me go ahead and show you how to get these spaces in between the icons. These are blank icons in between the regular custom icons. As you can see there, I can X them out. So they're blank icons. We're gonna go to the last page on wiggle mode. So we're gonna go do that and go to the last page, take a screenshot of our iPhone where there's no icons, just like that. Then we can head back and go into Safari. All the links are gonna be down below. So once you go into Safari, click on the first link, it's gonna bring you here. This website here is gonna be the one that's gonna allow you to install those custom blank icons. So click on the first link there, customize. Then click on custom mode. And if you have uploaded an image before using this website, you won't see the initial upload. What you're going to do is click on Modify. If you don't have this page here, it's going to ask you to click on Modify. Then choose a file. And now we're going to select the screenshot that we just took. So go to Screenshots and select the screenshot. Now click Upload, just like that. Now this is going to upload the image of the home screen that we just took in order to create those custom icons to place them on the screen and give it that effect that there's no icon there so it's really cool all right so here we are and as you can see here from the home page i selected this entire row and this entire row down here so let me go ahead and remove some of the ones i have here so let me remove this one here delete it now i can go back into safari and i deleted this one here two times one that particular section there you go ahead and add it by clicking on the one that I want. Go ahead and click on the button down here where it says share. And here I'm going to select add to home screen. Right there, click add. It's going to add it to my home screen. Just like that. Now all I have to do is move it and everything falls back into place. Magic. <laughs> anyway, that is how you create blank icons depending on the location of the home page that you want to edit space for. So right here it is, you just choose the layout as you see here from the page and then just keep selecting icons if you want that particular section there, just select the icon again, choose this button here, add to home screen, it's going to add that icon. Now if you want to further customize it, in the description down below I'm going to leave an Apple logo so you can copy and paste it and choose an Apple logo to be the font underneath your icon so it gives you a very cool Apple logo. Let me get a zoom in on that. There it is, a very unique Apple logo icon on your right there blank icon. You can move it around again and place it on the particular section of the screen where it pertains and it's going to fade right out. You're just going to have an Apple logo. Anyway, that's how you create the custom uh, blank icons. Now as for the theme, so you can get these icons in order to theme the icons themselves. Again, links are going to be down below including the link to the wallpaper that I'm using. But the second link should be here, the theme. These themes can be applied without the need of a jailbreak. I'm using this one here right now. All you have to do is select the icons that you want from this theme. So once you select the theme that you want, you can scroll down right here you have home screen lock screen this is going to be wallpapers for the theme and then you have the application sections this is where you're going to select all the apps that you want to install so if you want to install the app store calendar camera mail you know you select the applications that you want to install now keep in mind you do have to have installed the app that you're selecting or else the extension will not work these are extensions not apps so right here we keep selecting once we select all the ones that we want just click install and it's going to redirect you to settings. Once you in settings, just click install into your passcode if you have one. Once you do, go ahead and click install, install, and click done. And this is going to install the theme on your device. So as you can see here, now I have a bunch of icons, repeated icons, because I installed it twice. All I have to do to remove any theme is just go back into settings, general, profiles, and look for the theme that I just installed. Click delete, enter my passcode, and just click delete. And that's going to delete the theme, just like that. So now I'm back to normal. And you can also combine themes, custom theme icons with the standard icons. I think this look here looks really, really cool. A few custom icons in the bottom, the ones that I use the most, and the standard icons on the top just kind of gives it a cool balance. I don't know, I really kind of like this. I know with jailbreaking you go above and beyond, but this is the next best thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like always guys, don't forget to click that like button. Much more videos coming your way. Be sure to stay tuned. It's been iDevice Help, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.